I'll have a burger with fries. Okay, what else? What do you want, Ashi? I'll have a salad. A, a salad? This is a burger place. Why are you getting a salad? Uh, I'm not doing meat anymore. No, no meat? Well, you're lost, man. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. The burger. Oh, man, look at this. Looks good, doesn't it? This lettuce looks... Oh, man. That burger looks really good. Give me that. Mmm. That was a good burger. <laughs> Have you ever made a decision to stop doing something and then when you get tempted, you fall back into old habits? Like Najee here, he made the decision to stop eating meat, which, you know, we can argue about that later, whether that's a good decision or not. And then when he smelled and saw Thomas' burger, it was game over. He gave in. When we decide to follow Jesus, we become children of God. With that decision, we say, let's get rid of our old habits because Christ has made us new. Let him transform us by his love to do the things that he wants us to do. Now, here's the thing, of course. It's not always that easy. And sometimes, unfortunately, we revert back to bad habits and we sin. But God forgives us. We're fine. Yeah, but God's grace isn't a license to keep doing the bad things that he doesn't want us to do. With that in mind, let's check out this verse from the first letter of John. Those who have been born into God's family do not make a practice of sinning because God's life is in them. So they can't keep on sinning because they are children of God. Now this is not saying that Jesus followers don't ever mess up. That when we do something bad, we should feel convicted and we want to change to be better. Now what this is saying is that as believers, as born of God, we sometimes unfortunately sin, but we should be changed more and more into the likeness of Christ. Because we as God's children are expected to reflect his characteristics. And it's not about perfection, but it's about likeness. The thing is, we can't remain unchanged when we follow Jesus. We live differently because God lives in us and he loves us.